hello everyone and thank you for coming back to the channel and we're just gonna jump right on into this particular video we're gonna be talking about Monique okay the comedian Monique and this atrocious type of hairstyle now if she was in a fashion show or she was heading up and being the MC of a runway event dealing with fashion then or she was at a hair show modeling then that would be okay for this hairstyle but honey people on social media are tearing monique up for this atrocity of a hairstyle now you ask why why cat williams you say well they getting her back because they said they would rather see her in a bunny <laughs> now you know monique back in the day i uh, had got on some women she had saw in the airport or i don't know just coming out walking in the street and she said it was mostly our race which is the african-american race or black race that were thumbing ourselves down coming out with bunnets on our head where people can see us on the outside and that we should be a little bit more classier and a little bit more uh worried about our appearance on us when we're walking out the door and greeting other people in society so this is the mess she started okay and don't know why she really started it but that's where it ended up all on social media and she was like she had more haters on her talking about what she think they should be wearing versus living her life and let other people live their life well it's an interesting article that i found uh on black enterprise.com their little social media site and it was a lady by the name of Jor I mean Jerslin Jer Johnson. Okay. Uh she titled her article Social Media as Monique to wear a bonnet instead of her newest look. Okay. Like Claire said, let the record show. Let the people speak. Okay. You've been in a, in a, in a sense in a trial. <laughs> You've been put on trial for this atrocious hairstyle. Okay. And social media has petitioned you to stop. Okay. Cease and desist. I mean, cease and desist with this hairstyle. Okay. And I, I, I don't like it myself. Oh, and I don't know. You could finish the sentence for Whitney. What does Monique really look like with that hairstyle? Okay. Because Whitney's not feeling it at all. And social media wasn't feeling it too well either. But as we go into the article. It says Monique's followers are begging her to put on a bonnet after she debuted, de <coughs> excuse me, debuted a hairstyle on Instagram. And this is the famous hairstyle that I feel is atrocious. Unless she was, like I say, in a fashion show. She was hosting a fashion show. She was in a beauty school uh, or like something like the Brunner's Brothers Hair Show that is, you know, being held uh, in the summertime of each year coming year you know if you were doing one of them kind of things then i could see the artistic work in it because it's artistic but is it a hairstyle that i would want to definitely wear on an event uh like to a cocktail party or something to that degree no not really okay because it i would be like the center of attention people would probably be <sighs> draped all around me wanting to feel it wanting my opinions of why i wanted to wear this hairstyle how long did it take can they touch it you know just a center of attention and unwanted attention so going back to the article it says the oscar award-winning actress and comedian took to instagram over the weekend to show off the bumped up ponytail she sported while hosting the fall back comedy jam at barclays center in brooklyn new york okay best for me you always show up and show out and that was just somebody giving her a compliment uh on the hairstyle or whatnot but a lot of people did not feel the same goes on to say in this latest article monique black and gray layered updo while many praised the original queen of comedy in her comment section many others said she shouldn't have worn one of those bun she should have worn one of those bunnies that she hates so much <laughs> like, 
Woo! The dragon begins. Okay, let the commencement of the dragon begin. Oh, one, one commenter said she should have left her bonnet on. One critic said, I would rather you wear a bonnet than step out in this love, added someone else. The shady remarks were about the bonnet debate Monique raised earlier this year after she publicly spoke out against black women wearing hair bonnets and pajamas in public. In July, Monique was even snapped in a photo seemingly confronting one young sister who was wearing a bonnet. So, considering how strongly she feels against the look, critics expect her hair to be top-notch anytime she steps out. She followed up her hair reveal post with another uh, from the night showing love to rip, rapper Rick Ross. This brother is truly a good one, she said, of the MMG owner. Clearly, Monique looks, clearly Monique likes the look. Haters gonna hate. Ballers gonna ball, okay? From the window to the walls. To uh 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 all these uh 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 and she's just going to feel it. And who else don't feel it, they don't feel it. So, <laughs> Monique like what she has on her head. Or she liked what she had on her head that particular day in that performance that she was hosting. But her critics came knocking at her door and said, no ma'am, no ma'am. No sir, no lord, no god. No, take it down, take it down right now. Okay? So, I guess she was getting back what she dished out. Okay, but that's all I had for this video. Y'all get down in those comments. Y'all tell me what y'all felt about Monique's hairstyle. And should she have put a bonnet on it? Or she should have just let it be as it was. Okay, personally, I thought it was just too much hair. And, you know, like I said, it's up to her. She bought it. She wanted to wear it. She wanted to look outstanding, different, unique. She mastered that. Okay, she mastered that look. However... I don't too much like it because it just looks like I could just take one of those egg-shaped oval things and smash it. You know what I'm saying? Just be playing with it. I be wanting to play with her hair all night or something. And that that's too much of a big, major distraction. So, that's all I have for this video, guys. If you like it, love it, you got to have more. You can only have to do, you only have to do three things. Like, share, and subscribe to my channel. That's it. Like, share, and subscribe. Okay? I'll see you next video. Bye-bye.